hey guys welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new make sure to hit the like and subscribe button so in today's video i am doing this viral nail design called the bubble nail i'm really excited to do it i'm going to be doing it using the lazy girl method so i am just finding my nail sizes i'm using my medium length full covered square nail tips to do this nail design so i'm finding my sizes right now and I'm making sure that the nail tips are a little bigger than my natural nails so that when I apply the product inside of the nail tip, it fits my nails perfectly. You can get away with using nail tips that are exactly to your nail size as well, but sometimes it still does not work. So you will only know once you do it on yourself. So it is a trial by error. So starting on the pinky nail, I placed my nail tip on the nail stand and I just cleaned inside of the nail tip with some rubbing alcohol and I'm using my Makata Nude Poly Gel which is called ACSta. I'm just placing a very tiny bead of that ACSta Poly Gel inside of the nail tip and I'm going to be doing an ombre nail so I'm just doing the faded area right here. So I just pat the poly gel across the nail and I make sure to push the poly gel down because this nail is short so the faded area doesn't need to be too close to the tip area so you have to also measure it towards your nail just so that you can get an idea of where you want the fade to be. So I think this is where I want the fade to be so I just pat the poly gel down a bit and when I'm ready I will just fade the poly gel into the nail tip and then I will just remove that bit of poly gel right there because I don't really need that much right now. I'm not going to be placing it on my nail yet and I don't want that area to get too bulky one time because I still have to apply some poly gel in order to adhere the nail tip to my nail. So I cured it for 30 seconds and this is how it looks. So I'm just going to be setting that aside and now I'm going to be doing the index nail. So I just placed the little bit of poly gel that I took off from the pinky nail and I'm just applying a little bit more and I'm just distributing it to just one area of the nail. It's only to the area where I want the fade to be. I don't need to go to the cuticle area or anything like that right now. My main focus is just the fade the ombre section of this nail so as usual i just measure just to make sure that it isn't too high on this nail it needs to be at a certain area on the nail i cannot really explain where it needs to be but you know you just have to know sometimes you just look at a nail and just know it looks weird so you just have to look at the nail until it looks normal to you so i just faded it towards the tip area then I removed the excess and also faded that area as well. You don't want a harsh line of demarcation. So make sure to fade the other area as well. So fade the both sides and then I cured it for 30 seconds. So now I'm going back to the ring nail. So I just placed the tip on the stand and I am using my gel top coat. And this is some water and soap that I have in my glass container. So I'm just shaking it up just to create those bubbles. Now I'm just going to be applying a layer of gel top coat. I was running out of that top coat so I decided to use a newer one that I had laying there. So I just placed the top coat inside of the nail tip and then I used my cuticle pusher to pick up some of the bubbles on the top. Don't let any liquid get on the nail. You only need the bubbles and you just place it inside of the nail and then you would cure it for 30 seconds and this is how it looks so i'm just removing the bubbles with a lint free wipe and this is how it looks it looks so good oh my goodness i love how it looks so 
so on to the middle lane i'm going to be doing the same thing so i just placed a layer of the gel top coat inside of the nail then i just shake the container with the water and the soap mixture and then i'm just going to be picking up some of the bubbles and placing it inside of the nail tip i cure that for 30 seconds then i remove the excess bubbles and this is how it looks and it looks so good so now i am going to be doing the ombre nails as well so i just placed a layer of gel top coat at the tip area only of the ombre nail and then i placed some of the bubbles on that nail i cure that for 30 seconds and this is how it looks so i'm just removing the bubbles with a lint free wipe and it looks so good oh my goodness this nail set was so easy to do and i just enjoyed doing it because we are getting to play with soap and water so weird and it created such a lovely nail design this is so easy to do so i'm going to be doing that on the other ombre nail right now so I'm just going to let this part play out and I'll be back shortly. But if you've reached this far in the video, don't forget to hit the like button below and comment your thoughts on the design as well and subscribe. And also don't forget to watch the video all the way through. This really helps the channel when you do that because it shows YouTube that y'all are interested in my videos and y'all want to see the videos. So it pushes my videos to a larger audience. So on to the thumbnail, I am going to be doing the same thing that I did on the ring nail and the middle nail. I'm just going to be placing the bubbles on the whole nail. Then I cured that for 30 seconds. Then I'm using my lint free wipe to remove the bubbles and this is how it looks. So this is how all of the nails are looking right now and they look so cool. Y'all need to do this nail design. Y'all would not regret it. It's such a cool nail design. So now I'm just going to be placing the nails onto my nails. So I'm just using some sunscreen on my hand because it's going to be in the lamp often. I want to protect my skin and then I'm just going to be applying the gel base coat to all of the nails and curing for 30 seconds. I did apply my own peel off base coat off camera because I want to be able to remove these nails when I'm ready. I don't want to have to apply acetone to remove them. So yeah, I'm just applying the gel base coat and curing that for 30 seconds. And I'm using rubbing alcohol as my sip solution. So I'm starting with a siesta, this nude poly gel that I used before and I'm starting on the pinky nail. So I just placed the pinky nail on my nail stand and I just cleaned it with some rubbing alcohol again because we don't want there to be any particles in the nail when we are finished. So make sure to clean the inside of your nail tips when you can. And I'm just going to be placing a very tiny bead of the ACSTA poly gel and then I evenly distribute it at the nail bed area only. Do not go past a certain area on the nail because you would mess up the ombre or the fade that you made earlier. So make sure that you apply enough so that you can cover the nail bed area but not too much to go beyond the faded area. So I'm just distributing that poly gel and when I am satisfied with how it looks I would place it on my pinky nail apply some pressure and then clean whatever excess is seeping out of the nail around the cuticle area and the underside of the nails but i apply enough poly gel to this nail that it didn't have much poly gel seeping out of the cuticle area and i don't even think it had any at the underside of the nail so i cured that for 30 seconds
and this is how the nail is looking i think it looks really good i just love the bubble effect oh my goodness so cool so now on to the ring nail this is how the nail is looking so a thought came to me while doing these nails i was thinking what if i apply the clear poly gel to this nail and then all the bubble effect is gone because technically when we applied the bubbles it created kind of like craters in the nail so applying poly gel would mean that the craters would vanish because you are filling up those holes so that thought came to me while doing this nail set but i i was determined to get a solution to this so on the ring nail i knew i wanted to do a french nail on this nail already so i didn't mind just applying the poly gel to the nail bed area so that you know it would happen like this all the bubbles would be gone although it does have bubbles in it it's only at the tip area and the bubbles that it has on the nail bed area is mainly the bubbles from the poly gel you know sometimes when you apply poly gel there is bubbles in those nails which is very annoying but those are not the bubbles i wanted i wanted there to be the same bubble nail that i had from the start you know so i then was thinking maybe just maybe if i use some glue to stick on the middle nail because i wanted this middle nail to have a full bubble middle nail however i tried it at the tip there and it did the same thing it basically filled the holes in the nail so the the glue actually filled the holes so i couldn't do anything about it so i went to another option i wanted to use chrome powder okay but before using the chrome powder i said maybe let me try some gel base coat to see so i tried it at the tip area there just to see if it would cover the hole or if it would just you know i don't know but it did cover the hole so i was like okay this chrome powder must work so by applying the chrome powder it still shows the bubble effect in the nail so that when i apply the clear poly gel you would still see that chrome bubbles because it would maintain the circles the bubbles in the nail so i thought about that but also the reason why i tested out the gel base coat is because you always have to apply a gel base coat or a gel top coat after applying chrome because you have to seal in chrome powder after rubbing the chrome powder so you usually have to apply gel top coat cure it then rub in the chrome powder and then apply gel top coat again and cure it or gel base coat but i couldn't do that one to this nail so i had to just rub in the chrome and just leave it like that and i can say that afterwards i did wash my hands a lot of times and stuff like that and the chrome powder was still there so you don't necessarily need to seal in the chrome it would stay so this is how the nail looks as you can see you could still see the bubbles at the nail bed area and it looks kind of decent to me let me know what you guys think about it i think that was a cool idea that i thought about because it really saved me because i thought about this nail design in my head and i really wanted it to be executed really well and i think it was executed although i didn't think about how i was going to adhere these bubble nails to my nails because i knew from the jump i wanted to do it the lazy girl method way but i didn't think that far ahead until i was actually doing the nails and i reached to the ring nail i realized like sis how are you going to adhere these nails if you have to apply poly gel to these nails which is bubble nails and that's like basically filling up the nail you know <laughs> but anyway i figured it out and i think the nails look really good So this is how the nails are looking so far and I think it looks good. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. So on to the thumbnail. I wanted this nail to be a full bubble nail as well.
so we have to rub in the chrome powder. And then I apply some poly gel. So I'm very careful with where I apply the poly gel. Even though I have the chrome powder in the nail, I'm very careful with where I apply the clear poly gel. So I'm basically doing it at the nail bed area mostly so that it's not too much all over the nail, if that makes sense. And I cure that for 30 seconds. So this is how all of the nails are looking and I think they look so good. So I'm just using some rubbed alcohol to remove just some tackiness from around the nail. This part isn't really necessary but I still like to do it because we are doing it on the Lazy Girl Method nails and I didn't use much poly gel for these nail sets. So anyway, I am just filing the nails. So I file the sides and the free edge of the nails and I also go over the whole nail and also the cuticles and stuff like that. So I'm just going to let this part play out and I'll be back shortly. So this is how the nails are looking after filing. Now I'm going to be using Cafe which is this nude gel polish from Macart. It is a similar color to the ACS poly gel. That's why I like to use them together most times. So on the ring nail, as I said earlier, I wanted this nail to be a French nail. So I'm going to be drawing the French smile line on top of the nail right here. And this part was really easy to do. I should have applied some gel top coat before placing this nude gel polish on the nail. It didn't do anything to the nail but I just thought I should have applied the gel top coat first just to protect it. But it came out good regardless. So I did a first layer and now I'm going in with a second layer because I needed it to be a little more opaque and I cured each layer for 30 seconds. Now I'm going to be using some rhinestones on the nails. So we are starting on the ring nail. I wanted to place some rhinestones around the French smile line. So I'm using my Model Wands gel glue and my Model Wands gel top coat. So I just placed a layer of the gel glue. And then the gel top coat. Then before curing, I'm going to be placing some rhinestones around the smile line. And then I would cure that for 30 seconds. Now I'm also going to be using these rhinestones that I got 
from amazon i also got the smaller rhinestones from amazon that i used on the ring nail but this kit i got it from amazon as well so yeah i forgot to show you guys how the ring nail looks so this is how it looks so now on the middle nail i'm going to be using some rhinestones on that nail as well so i placed some of my model one's rhinestone glue and do you guys see how good the bubbles still look in the nail you could still see it thank god for that chrome powder so i applied some gel top coat as well and then i placed these three circular rhinestones on the nail and i didn't like it it didn't look good at all i think i was over exaggerating the bubble effect so by adding circular rhinestones it was just a bit too much so i had to remove it i didn't like how that was looking so yeah i'm trying to find some rhinestones to place on this nail and i really don't like my rhinestone placement on this nail and the thumbnail i didn't do a good job but i'm not good with rhinestone placements so let me know what you guys think was it an okay job i did or do i need a lot of help i don't know which one it is but it looked okay but if i looked at it way too much i just hated it <laughs> it's so weird so anyway i did the thumbnail off camera and this is how the nails are looking so far so now i'm going to be applying some rhinestones to the ombre nails so i just placed some rhinestone glue at the nail bed area of both nails and then a layer of gel top coat on both nails and then i would just place two rhinestones on each nail and cure that for 30 seconds So this is how the nails are looking guys let me know what you think i think it looks really good i love the bubble effect and i'm so proud of myself for thinking about applying the chrome powder to those nails <laughs> so yeah now i'm just going to be applying the cuticle oil to rehydrate my skin and nails So guys this is the finished look and i think this nail set turned out so good everything about this nail set i love it it's just an easy nail set and the fact that i did it using the lazy girl method anyone can do the lazy girl method it is a beginner friendly method of doing your nails so let me know what you guys think let me know if you will be doing this bubble nail trend i think it's such an easy and such a cool nail trend using simple household items to get really cool nail designs so yeah let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next one bye guys